So welcome right here to this voiceover that I'm doing on this video because the sound was not very good, it was too many people. And so this is the Huawei MateBook 14. It's 500 euro, $500 cheaper than the X Pro New, but it's got the same 8th generation Intel uh, i7 or i5 with a NVIDIA GeForce MX250 GPU. So uh, otherwise it's got exactly the same, but it's, you know, it's $14.99 instead of $19.99. It's got a one-hop file sharing kind of thing that they have going on. A 1.49 kilo and 15.9 millimeter stick. It's a 3x2 aspect ratio display, 2160 by 1440 And with a very narrow bezel, 4.9 millimeters. So that's all you need to know right now. And uh, here I'm going to show you the keynote, which I filmed the highlights of right here. Thanks for watching. The MateBook 13 and the MateBook 14 together, you can see that uh, we have the very high screen to body ratio, and the MateBook 14 we reached the 90 percent the screen to body ratio, and also the resolution is a 2K level, and also with a good uh, color gamma. You watching the video, the, the photo, the, the good feeling. Tessa. And also with the support of the NVIDIA uh, GeForce MX Q50, the latest the graphic card. And the more important. Our new MateBook X Pro, bodily superiors, I hope. This is our new. MateBook X Pro. <laughs> With this uh, new MateBook X Pro, we want to bring you ultimate delight, innovative technologies, and our intelligent experience. We will share our dumb car. And this is the ultra slim, uh, not a light, but ultra slim. You can see that's in the the thickest area, only 4.9 millimeters. The thickest area, only less than 14.6 millimeters. The bottom is fading in this. And this display panel, we are using a 3 to 2, the display ratio. In this way, we can make you to have much more, more large space to read. We're losing 3,000 by 2,000. And also have a very high uh, color gamma, 100% sRGB, high brightness, high contrast, and also it's with a touch screen, um, Wi-Fi speed to over uh, 1700 megabit per second. Compare with the last generation, and compare with the industry, the other PC the speed uh, double the Wi-Fi speed. And also the port, we we the Thunderbolt three. We upgrade this port to full speed, and you can expand the to 4K display, and also expand the support the external graphic card, and also for the much higher speed. I like the wise the wise pattern of brought together a breadth of Intel technologies across our compute, media graphics, and connectivity to tune and intelligently optimize that together. So we can use things like Turbo Boost to give you the best speed that you need when you need it the most. And so what that means for the user is you can edit together like your photos from Barcelona almost two times faster than just the last generation. Share that out and connect at gigabit speeds on Wi-Fi and simplify on a single Type-C connector, bring together high-speed blazing fast storage, multiple 4K displays, and external graphics with Thunderbolt 3 that you talked about. Have you seen the power key and uh, the fingerprint together, just a single uh, touch, and the, the wall for uh, that lets you have to give you the best sound. With this quad speaker, a uh, split the frequency, and uh, also we cooperate with the Ruby Atmos, we can bring you immersive audio experience. Perhaps cancel the video, the audio, and all the documents. So it's very community. You can see that 
you, you take a photo, sometimes you all have contents, you're close to the to the PC, that's the automatically transfer to that. So this is really transfer this uh, funny video and an instant record screen on the display of my smartphone on real time. As Richard said, I have only two shake smartphone and one hole. Here one more time, and now I can push play. And as you can see on the smartphone, on real time appears the video that is on the display of the laptop. This is wonderful. And then this works with a backhaul, and connected with the backhaul, uh, it's really a 5G network. And also to the consumers, and uh, using 5 and 6. And uh, this hall, uh, this here, uh, in this area is already covered by uh, 5G video coverage in this, uh, this launching here. <clears throat> it can achieve 3.2 gigabit per second already. So this is really, really the live level where you can have the faster the CP. And now we fully use the 5G speed. We have been introducing the Wi-Fi 6. The Wi-Fi 6 maximum can support 4.8 gigabit. So you with the Wi-Fi 6 on this, you can fully use the 5G speed. Uh, it's uh, support so, so water dust proofing. With the uh, Ethernet, the power of uh, PoE, power e e over Ethernet cable, you can, you can connect to your home, the, the, to your home routers. So this kind of wide charging, and also we support a uh, large battery. So we make the, your 5G in your pocket with the Huawei 5G mobile Wi-Fi. So this is our 5G IoT devices to give you more 5G services. So that's the price and the value will be available. The PC, our main book, X Pro, the new X Pro, the price. And we have a, one is 1,599. Another one we have a, one, 1,999. Oh, and our MateBook 13, the price is here. Start from 999 uh, euros to maximum 1,399 euros. And the MateBook 14, the price uh, is start from uh, 1,199 euros. And the, the world leading ICT technology and solution provider. We provide all the connectivity possibilities. Today, my topic is connecting the future. Before that, I like to have a review of Huawei the consumer business. If you see the last eight years, uh, we keep strong growth, and our revenue last year we reached over 52 billion US dollars globally. Then we received over 100 million smart devices. Globally, last year, except you know, it's not include the uh, smartphone. Five billion US dollar on the, our consumer business and the, our group, Huawei Group, and uh, we have strong investment on technology and research and development.